single smoke to try and make this play work. But we know what Immortals does to smokes on pistol round. We've seen it all day. So smoke goes out. No one's going to go for it. They've already spotted him and said it's the guns and it's going to be heading successful. Another pistol going in favor of Immortals. It's a pretty simple B play with one player holding towards short. As soon as the attention has been taken away towards those B apartments, he comes in for the pin up, takes down any rotating players as well. Forrest did what he could. That jumping USB shot was pretty tremendous, but not enough to secure the round victory. He's going to be a forced buy in the second round, not fully investing into it. Once again, it exists on that scout. It does have a lot of potential on Mirage. So many jumping angles available for him. That's where he decides to go to be straight towards the middle. Hits the first one, takes any down to 53 HP through the wall there. It's a similar story to what happened on Cash. There's another one as well. Lots of damage being inflicted at the start of the round. It's actually not bad this time. Because Pit, or excuse me, Exist in this case, is still actually all right at 52 HP. It's Pit that's on the 5-7. Helps down to 13. It's Henny on the SMG. They're trying to build him toward that AWP. How open that A site is, though, now that they've gone back yeah, after absolutely. that mid pressure, they're going to try and rotate it back through B instead. Lucas has got control of connector as well. Still a few flashbangs available for the terrorists here, but at this point, it's just going to be waiting for the reaction of the seating as he's Freiburg pushing off towards short with this Desert Eagle looking to make something happen. Not going to find anything so far. Lucas just holding strong in the connector. That's for one player, I believe. And now Henny with the bomb makes his way towards B apartments, which is interesting. That's where the CTs were, but now they've pushed out of position towards Shaw. Get right with the first headshot, though. Takes down Bolts. To start, Lucas surrounded. Freiburg finds him. That's a gun picked up as well. Showtime does get exist. They'll go back to B, and the rotation's already headed out. So this will be a retake now for NIP with two guns picked up and two pistols still in play. The scout no longer in the fold, but they've done the damage onto Phelps, Henny, and Showtime is low, but manages still to take down Forrest. Wraps around the corner, Showtime's gonna find Get Right as well, it's all onto Freiburg. And this SMG for Henny as he walks forward, down he goes, easy cleanup, and he gets both those skills actually with the MAC-10, which is actually impressive and important because again, they're trying to build Henny, who's now 4-0 toward the AWP on the first gun round. Yeah, good start there from NIP, doing a lot of damage with the scout, and they find the first kills with the pistols as well, but the reaction comes in from Immortals, they push towards the B site very quickly indeed, and it's showtime, they get control of Kitchen, as soon as he gets that, he finds two kills as well. Good positioning from Immortals, and hold off the rotating players coming in, Friber can't do anything, but that picked up SMG, it's gonna be 2-0 here, and a full eco for NIP, just speeding 50s and a couple of USPs, one deal on the hand of Get Right, but mid control comes in once again, it's Phelps pick up that first kill, been great throughout this campaign, and Hits the first player to drop five and four. Once again, the series don't really have to work too hard, but that certainly helps NIP. Forrest finds a kill with the P250. It's an AK decent. as well. Yeah, I was going to say decent kill to get because the weapon picked up is going to actually start things off similar, similarly to the last round where they had some firepower and slow the pace tremendously of Immortals who are now grouping over toward that B site once more. It's Get Right that's heading in that direction. He'll be alone in his, in his endeavors, though, with this Deagle. Showtime's inching forward. Get Right's gonna give up that angle. He'll cross the window before Get Right can find another position. Actually, maybe not. Slows it up. So Get Right might still have a headshot potential yeah. if they try and enter here. He'll do very well to get more than one in this scenario. It's gonna be Bolts going up towards Short. He takes punch. down Forrest, and now Get Right, position given away, does not land the headshot this time. Four on two, Exist and Freiburg out of position as well, rotating in. Exist has managed to pick up the AK-47. And presumably we'll be saving them, trying to distribute the wealth a little bit more effectively next round. So yeah, exactly that. We'll be saving Freiburg coming in towards the window area, hoping to find a rotating player hunting for the frag. This is worthwhile for the terrorists at this point. They know they've dropped a rifle and they can get off to see he's up. be very beneficial indeed. Not going to be heavily committing though. Just one player though, Henny. He goes towards T-Spawn. Freiburg gets another kill though, so he manages to do something with this. Looking to try and pick up that gun as well. Lucas, decent damage, Dell does conclude it through the wall, finds Freiburg, it's, exists with the AK, bomb ticking, he's going to try and save this, but we've Henny's already coming. seen it, yeah, Henny's getting ever closer, and is that gun barrel sticking out just far enough, it will, as he rounds the corner, there it is, thank you very much, not only that, he gets the upgrade to the AK from the Galil, no gun saved in NIP, they'll buy up, a great position. They had the opportunity to go for an AWP with just chest armor. They elected not to do so. They'll stick with the rifles and utility instead. Yeah, that force by in the second round wasn't too heavily invested, so they do have a decent array of grenades as well. Smokes, flashbangs, five rifles. No incendiaries, though. What a massive deal of Mirage, but we'll see how they decide to approach this situation. It's going to be one player towards short. That's Pit. Three towards A. 
grenades coming in the start of the round. It's going to be Showtime. Though. He gets the first pick. He's going aggressive towards the B side. His get run is dropping once again at the start of the round. Showtime actually has control of the B side as well, but a great reaction there from Pitt. He's holding strong on Shaw, gets the kill back in return. And then I've been out, still struggling a little bit as Henny takes down Forrest there. Huge advantage now. I don't really have any information in the CTs as to what's going on with the terrorist plan. And Pitt that actually had a good position on Catwalk to cancel this push toward the connector out before that second smoke went down, but he rotates off early in the effect that they might be going to B. It puts pressure on the players on A. Exist being one of them, and he's answered that task by taking down Phelps, which does leave it into a two versus two, and Lucas is a long way away from this. He's got no information on where exactly the player inside, or rather, excuse me, the player rotating around inside of A. Pith is, so he doesn't want to walk through connector. He's going to actually play the buddy system, and we've seen Immortals do this time and time again this weekend, where they just put time into grouping up and going together. Henny nearly hitting that shot towards Exist, who now plays toward the CT stairs. He's going to let them walk in, and they want the time to run down before they have to force their hand. Yeah, some synergy required here from the Immortals, and what better combo do you want than actual genetic twins in a two versus two? 30 seconds remaining. Pit and Exist are aware it's going to be an A-sided attack. They are going to be holding strong towards this area. Lucas just edging out of Palace now, looking for a bit of intel. Shot fired from Hanny. Not going to find anything just yet, though. And that rotation from Pit with Exist. He's already gone one way, and he doesn't know where this is. He thinks this is going to go to B. He rotated over to play the buddy system with Pit, but now he's looking at B at the exact moment they are walking in. 12 seconds. They're going to get this bomb down, and Pit's going to have to buy some space. He may be able to spot Henny. He's at least going to know he's at Firebox. Now that the bomb goes down, but again, he has to wait. And there's the kit on Pit, but Exist does do his job when he arrives back in. It's one for one, and he tags him up. He's down to 16. Again, the kit is dropped off of Pit. Exist can grab that, but he's actually gone by it, trying to find his kill. He's still got time if he gets it right now. And he'll go back just for extra measure, and they're going to get away with this. Huge round there for Exist to bring in separation for an IP. It would have meant an eco for sure and a potential 5-0. Two versus two. The more to get the bomb down, they can't hold strong in the clutch situation that exists. He has seemed to be picking up a lot of clutches this tournament. Finds another, but it comes down to the one versus one. Immortals definitely have money to buy. Exist manages to salvage the AWP, so that's going to help distribute the wealth slightly. You can see Mag7 on get right. He was the first player to drop towards B. And that was a fast play from Immortals in that first gun round. Showtime going in, finding the first pick, and it was a long drawn out affair, but NIP finally come out on top. 3 1 now. Any in bolts working the area, and looks like a potential A split coming in. Forrest is going to hold the wide side. They did go over in that direction, but he'd already given up the angle, and that lets Pith come back around. So they're going to play this more passively. Look how close Phelps is already with that Tech 9. So they're trying to let that gun go to work and get information early, get some map control for them. And not only that, Showtime getting into where this connector position. They're setting up for an A split aggressively with Bolts, Palace, Henny, A ramp. Exists right now with his attention turned toward Forrest. Isn't going to play that under shadow position to watch the drop down. Instead, it's Freiburg that'll do so inside of the site. Lucas finding Forrest. It's already weakened and diminished this defense. A good Molotov. That's going to push out the player underneath the balcony. Exists who desperately tries to fight forward. He's caught by Showtime. And another reset potential coming in here. 3-1, potentially 4 now for Immortals. Yeah, massive reset potential. This is going to be devastating to the NRP economy. And it's only a max 7 in the hands of Gerai. Hasn't managed to pick up one of the fallen weapons of his comrades. So he's going to be holding up towards the window area, hoping he can potentially upgrade to an AK-47. But so far, Mortis haven't dropped a single frag here. Great A split. Contact play coming in. They make their way towards Connect after taking the vision away from the CTs. Find that first kill. Molotov towards Shadow, just flushing out the CTs and hitting everything. And after get right, hoping he can find something here, but he can't. It is the 180 shot to try and find Showtime. He was low HP as well, but doesn't land. And there it is, only $1,400 coming into the bank account of NIP. This is a double eco territory. They only get 1900 next round, so they can't really afford to really invest anything into this round. The only player of any sort of cash is Pitt with 3K. Hard times at the moment, and the 5-1 almost certainly coming in here. It's just one CZ purchase. That's in the hands of Get Right, but on Mirage especially, he's shown us what he can do with this weapon, Matt, if you remember. Well, he certainly has. It was on this map that he did so as exactly. well on the A site. And one versus four, they leave connector open for Phelps. He takes his sweet time about it, but does put down Forrest in the end. And they'll turn back, they'll collectively take down Pitt. With Ian Lucas getting a contribution in that kill, as Freiburg has to give up window with the amount of smokes that are deployed. Get right on catwalk. We've seen this many times in the past. But he's already allowed Phelps to get up on top of the fence. He's going to watch him as soon as he walks around the corner. Off angle, no chance he'll check it. Phelps closing it out. Very efficient round from Immortals. Oh, yes. Want to make sure they allow their economy to swell at this point. Get as much money as possible. Keep applying the pressure on IP. As I said, they only get 1,900 next round, so potentially another Rico coming in. 
They did actually invest a little heavier than I'd have liked with the Desert Eagle, so it's going to be nothing once again going into the next one. It's going to be 5-1 here. Just exist remains. He's going to be all the way in Van and B, but Showtime's surely going to find him in one for the remaining this Deagle. Can't land the headshot, and Showtime finishing things off. 5-1. And another eco for an IP here. No timeout just yet, and haven't really arrived here. We'll have a look at the scoreboard. Get right. Once again, struggling in this grand final. One for six for him. Never really got rolling on cash, although he did have a couple of good rounds. And Pitt has been a designated also by and He's been shut down by this double orb approach of Immortals. Yep. Penny and Showtime. Again, we mentioned it. Nip looking pretty flat after what was an excellent comeback against Astralis. Phelps. Let's open things up again as he gets on Catwalk. Twice he's done this. Two straight anti-eco rounds. Finally, they'll put him down. It's Get Right to do so. Lucas is there. Crossfire set. Get Right finds him, but it's one versus three. Go to the AK. He's going to potentially just try and hold this, but look where Bomb is. Yeah, he could actually find the bomb. Actually, horseshoe. And if he actually just runs to save this gun, he may stumble across that. He's got no yep. armor, which means aim punch is a factor. Hello. But guess what? Thank you very much. And nah, get right now. You give this guy half a chance, and it's a problem. Double op as well to go against him, which means they can't just run a gun and try and force him back out. They have to play angles, and if get right smart, he won't give them that, those. Oh, he's one of the most intelligent players. Smart in the that they're all coming together. On the strike. Smart that they're all grouped up right now, though. Look at immunity. Or, excuse me, Immortals. They are immune if they're immortal. It's close <laughs> enough. But Get Right's going to watch this angle around. They do get the bomb picked up now. They know where he is. Ops to hold it. Bolts gets it with the AK. It was a chance, but a slim one. Well, he definitely had an opportunity there. If you hit that first shot with the AK-47, there was something to work with. But, like he said, Immortals are very good at grouping up together. They don't like to make it difficult situations with one on X. They want to make sure there's uh, one situation. They're all facing together and refound potential there. We go into round number eight. It's currently 6-1. You are just joining us. Immortals picked up their, their pick, which is cash. It was interesting that NIP allowed Mirage to slip into this pool after not vetoing it. They had a very disappointing performance against Godsend here. So it's pretty lackluster buy as well. Pit on the orb, but just not much utility to work with. They're not going to be going super aggressive either. Exists. Watching towards Palace. That's what Bolts will be. And he could get caught out here. Decent Molotov actually drops through his feet. There's a lot of damage there. It is Forrest with a double kill. Watching the connector like a hawk. Giving something NIP to work with here. And bomb, bomb, three. bomb as well for Forrest. So he's going to nestle in toward that position. Phelps gets caught by Get Right going to window. That was their best chance to try and pull that back into the open. So four onto one. And Henny's found by Freiburg. Finally an IP get a second round now that the guns are back. And they managed to keep four players alive as well. It's very important. The money's been a massive issue here. They've got the double orb set up coming in now as well. So they can really get rolling at this point. Definitely not of it just yet. Here's the replay of Forrest kills. This has been a heavy area of contention for them. That connector area, as soon as... Immortals have been finding that position, they have been locking it down the contact play, but finally someone shuts them down. Round number nine, it's going to be Forrest and Pitbull on the AWPs. Forrest this time getting a little bit more aggressive, and so is Freiburg as well. Spraying through the smoke there with the AK, finds it on towards Phelps, and now they don't have to work too hard at this point. Fall back, you've got the man advantage. Now allow the terrorists to make the next move. Forrest, defensive position, that connector area. Was watching underpass, and he stayed a little bit longer. Could have been Giffen a free kill there. Not going to happen this time. Time wants that off angle for anyone approaching the window. Forrest is there late. Henny down below isn't showing. Good pick from Freiburg again. Is going to pull this to a two-man advantage. And as Forrest rotates back around, look where the bomb is again. They've got to go a long way back toward Horseshoe. And that means confronting Get Right, who comes up onto Catwalk. Nifty little boost, and Henny's going to find that kill. So it does open up a possibility to get the bomb back in their possession with a minute still to play with on this. And worse off now, Forrest getting found. It's dead even. It's dead keel. You have to say, Matt, with a 5-on-3, did Get Right have to die there? Once again, he's the player that's giving them Windows opportunity here. As soon as he drops, Forrest goes down as well. Now it's a 3-on-3. Three three. HP and firepower in terms of utility does favor the Immortals. So what's turned out to be a glorious star here from Freiburg. Slowly dwindling away. We have got Bolts posted up in that palace area. There's rotations coming in with the bomb as well. That's going to be in the hands of Henny. I'm watching the underpass. Coming to Connector as well, it's Showtime pincering this A-side. This could be very problematic for the CTs and a crushing round to lose. Showtime getting Freiburg. They're pulling this back. Five versus three. Oh. Now down to one versus three. As NIP has given everything back away. Like you say, it all started with that get-right position. Pitgain hit the shot. He's going to bail out on this. 
and try and change a different angle, but look at exactly the positioning of Showtime. He hears him coming around, Pith gets a Reba kick at the shot, and that is a round that absolutely should have been an IPs. Freiburg, such stellar work there. Spraying through the smoke at the start of the round. Great awareness, takes the first kill, gets one in Palace as well. It's a five on three. Why are they facing that point? Especially by themselves, at least have something to work with there. Some backup from teammates, someone taking the aggro away from you. Get right, faces off towards short, goes down, Forrest tries to get the reaction kill back in return, doesn't work out for him. It's another eco now for NIP. 7-2, Immortals looking to get 8 here. Every round NIP gets is getting reset straight away. And at some moments are playing against themselves, but get right, looking for redemption here. Takes the first headshot with the Desert Eagle. Smoke out on the window, Bolt's gonna do further damage on to Freiburg. Takes him down to 70 with the nade. Pistols with the opening again for an IP. They've yet to convert any of these eco situations into a win, despite having first picks twice now out of the three that they've had. And the other was a four on four where they got a trade kill. So they've been able to do damage early on. They just can't sustain that damage. The Showtime's going to wait for a push in the underpass. Forrest hasn't jumped down out of the window to go for it just yet. They're just holding up, making sure they can get some control here. You can see towards middle, it's going to be bolts. Trying to flush out anyone towards window. Is anyone waiting on the right-hand side there? See if there's an opportunity to get that first kill. Not going to happen just yet, but his teammates are slowly but surely making their way towards B. Not taking any chances here. Double Molotov towards the van area. The Freiburg gets the second kill. A chance here for an IP. Flash out. Pit gets caught by that. They've overlooked his position. They have brought the bomb in, but Lucas has actually pushed forward with it toward Force. Nearly goes down on that because it's a one-for-one -one trade. Lucas does get Freiburg back, but good patience by Pitt. It's all on him. He's got bomb, remember. 35 seconds, but lots of time to play with it. Reload. It's missed time. Exist will walk through, and finally they convert one. Against the odds as well, NIP. It's get right with that opening Desert Eagle shot. Funnels him towards the B side. It's Forrest that finds another kill and picks up the AK-47. They managed to lock it down, and finally the third round arrives. 7-3 now, and they have money in their field as well, but no AWPs, to be fair. That hasn't exactly been lining up the scoreboard for them. Pitt seems to be missing a lot of shots here. Maybe feeling the pressure a little bit in the grand final, but it's Henny. He's on the Krieg. We haven't seen this in a while. Definitely a very versatile weapon that can be viable. First bullet accuracy is a factor with it. Yep. The fall off does not exist. It's deadly accurate over any distance. Get right, reset caught again. out. This is a huge problem. Exactly that, reset as well as he gets no man's land overwhelmed, had to try and make a play and just couldn't find that swing angle. Phelps is low enough for Forrest to potentially get at least one kill out of this and he will eventually do so, but 7-3 is about to become 8-3 with the bomb down and them already retreating onto the A site. Yeah, after struggling so hard in that eco round, going to round number 11 and it's NIP. Getting hunted now. They're trying to save the last two remaining weapons, but Showtime's ready to jump from Exist. He does a lot of damage, but can't get the kill. Just Forrest remaining now. Immortals trying to find these last remaining rifles. Forrest's going to be hiding up in Palace, and you know they're going to come hunting for him, but still, there needs to be more presence from Nip towards that B apartment area. They need to be getting early calls at least. They can't allow the terrorists to get all the way to the end and have all the freedom in the world to land their headshots. Looks very simple as they enter that site, and it's going to be a pretty huge scoreline now, 8-3. Forrest manages to save a rifle, but once again, only $1,400 coming in this round. I, I would dare say they may force this. They have two players on around 5k. And M4 save, so yeah, they're going to they go for it. I don't think they can afford to lose much more here, so UMP is dropped. M4s are there. It's not the worst buy in the world. It's one UMP, one CZ. Get right very handy with that weapon in certain scenarios. A couple of kits as well, so it's not the end of the world. Forrest looking for the shot through the smoke. Actually does a ton of damage towards Feltz there, so it's a good start at least. No AWP as well for Immortals, so this is somewhat promising for an NIP. If they can make it work again with the early damage, Freiburg's going to be pushed up. Another three-man set up in the A site with Forrest. His attention's on the connector. He's actually inside of it now. But he's swing enough to be able to cover Palace. The last time they played someone in Shadow, it was Exist. He got caught out by a Molotov very early on. Yeah. But this time, Freiburg's actually above on the balcony, so he won't have that same problem. He's actually, oh, this is desperate pushing in. That flash does not go far enough. And Lucas just walks wow. out. It's two quick kills for him. Showtime with an excellent shot. All headshots on the way through. And that is an excellent entry. So early damage, never mind that. It's going to be another save here, potentially, for Pitt. We said in the earlier stages of the tournament, Immortals were missing that flare, that explosive headshot potential they really do have. But this time in the grand final, they're really showing up. Lucas steps up once again. Two great headshots at the end of the bombsite, pretty cleanly as well. It wasn't a set execution. He just runs out, Rex Freiburg, and then the second player in CD spawn as well. Once again, CD's trying to save 
Whatever they have remaining is just going to be pit now as Get Right goes down. And he's going to be locked down in the ladder room. Doesn't have much to work with here. 9-3 NIP after the force bite. Only going to have $1,900 coming in. It's another eco. This is getting pretty desperate for them now. We are, we're not seeing that dynamic play from NIP. They're just up against the ropes in terms of the economy time and time again. They have nothing to work with. So they're not seeing pushes up towards middle. We're not seeing confident play towards the underpass or even towards the lower ramp. They need to be doing something here. They're losing every single duel on the bomb site time and time again. They're not getting rolling here whatsoever. Pitt does save an M4, but what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? He's going to have to work so hard to even find that first frag. They can't really justify Deagles again. He's got the USPs in an M4. Yeah, they can't even buy around him. This is, this is so problematic. They need to find something. Take a pause at this point. After this round, let's try and get the last two. Well, it's going to be 29 they'll get after this. Henny, quick flash down. Pit does manage to win that duel. No one else following down middle because it's held off by a window, so they can't get a refrag onto him right away. He can actually get a, at least back down the hallway to mid, That's but that's where they're caught as Phelps and Lucas each finding kills again. That means the rifle's gone very quickly. Bolts will take down Forrest. And the round over. Exist again to fall. Right then, man. I think needs to wake up right now. Khan lose these last two rounds. Get the M4s out. Let's take the game towards them. We're not winning these duels. We're allowing them to have so much control of the map. They're outplaying us in every scenario. Let's go towards our ramp. Let's flash over. Get one pick. Something to work with. The money's been a problem, and it's evident once again. They haven't got a single kit here, so... Now more than ever, need to get that first man advantage and then fall back. They've had it before, and then they're just making the wrong decisions. Five on threes, they're pushing off towards shot, and this is exactly what's happening. Go towards lower round. This is good. A decent call, but Immortals are reading it. Henny's ready for it, fortunately for them. And he gets the first pick. Exist goes down. Get right, taking a ton of damage as well. He's trying to play that jump mag seven, but Forrest does at least pull this back slightly. Lucas trades onto Freiburg. Forrest is forced back inside of the site as they rotate away. He's going to chase them down for the first time, so he's actually going to get aggressive. We haven't seen this out of him yet, just yet. They're running around the corner, but he's already got this information that they're back over in pit, up at the top of middle. He's trying to lock them to make sure they don't wrap at horseshoe, but it's still a tough ask right now, and Forrest is trying as desperate as possible, as fast as possible, to catch them out before they get to the site. But with Showtime and Phelps already on catwalk, there's going to be no slowing them down. Bomb's going to jump through the window, and Hanny turns around. Perfect timing. Forrest is caught. Yeah, NIP just not finding anything here. They actually pass each other in the smoke as well on catwalk, so Phelps and Pitt go right by each other. Like I said, that's for me, that's a perfect call to coach. You want to make something happen there, but Immortals reading this game so well. They just need ready for it as well. I think, well, they're probably going to try and adapt to us now. We're wrecking on the defaults time and time again. Let's go for the defensive play this time and see what Nip have got up their sleeve. Instead of aggressive play towards lower ramp, and he gets the first kill, and then it falls apart again. It's going to be 11 3 here. Pitt trying to save the rifle. I think that's been the storyline for most of these rounds. That's going to be four in a row now. We go into the next round. It's going to be four stage loss bonus. With Forrest chasing that hard, there was a run Forrest run joke in there somewhere. But I have to say, Immortals, the Brazilian philosophy on this map, Gamers Academy videos that Fallen released in English for everyone to see on YouTube. Obviously, they've got subsystems that work on these two well, teams the because they're is, both very good at this map. The Brazilians originally, especially Fallen's team, were famous for having those great executions. They were so great at flushing out every single terrorist and smoking everyone out of position. Immortals don't really need to rely on that so much. They're so good at hitting these shots. That's what we talk about. Their players are turning up and actually landing everything like Lucas, Showtime, Henny seem to be then it's a real problem for them, especially when NIP don't have the money. They're just holding it up, bleeding the CDs out of their initial utility, and then just coming in and working together as a tight unit. It's very good and very impressive, I have to say. It's the last round now. Number 15, we have a scout, two M4s, a UMP, and a 5-7 on Freiburg. Comes down to this moment, and Henny just keeps the form going. It's this replies taking out Phelps, but look at this. This hits everything. And now it's up to Forrest, UMP in hand. Not the best weapon for this scenario. Let's see what he can do. And Henny knows exactly where he is. His awareness this whole Hello. round. Another one for him, a third. He'll push through, cover off checkers, make sure no one can wrap and rotate. Bolt's a little bit late with the bomb to get to the site, but really, you're going to walk through a wall of players right now to get there if you're an IP. Exist and Freiburg will stick together, and Lucas inside the ladder room is on low HP, so a chance to at least pick up one. As they have to go for it, round 15. A kid on both players. A Molotov on Freiburg could potentially distill one player and give them a chance to at least catch them in transition, but that's missed time. Freiburg's still able to land it. They'll be delayed slightly, another four seconds before Exist can round the corner at Catwalk. Need bouncing. Thankfully, went in the doorway, doesn't do a massive amount of damage. He's down to 50. They're going to go for the boost. Get creative again. Freiburg does still have the Molotov. That'll likely be thrown at Van if they can get that far, but Bolt, he's already taken down Exist. Freiburg wants the trade, but it leaves him in the open, and that's going to leave Showtime to close it. 12 to 3 in that trophy.
is a mere four rounds away for immunity. I said it again, Immortals. <laughs> I can't get I can't get over it. At that least one. when I got confused, I was getting confused Tempo at all. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. And you're just throwing out some arbitrary Australia. It would be the that. it would be the first championship immunities one in a while. Uh, yeah. Anyway. 12-3. This has been very disappointing for an IP. They struggled on cash. And that's normally their best their best map by far. They don't they don't normally lose in that one. It's a great play from Immortals, but I have to say NIP making some very poor decisions, especially when they have advantages as well. That one round that came to mind that started this initial deficit after winning one. They get the first two frags. It looked like they've done everything perfectly, and then get right, continuing this poor form from Cash. Gives the kill away and it all starts to fall apart and nothing really got rolling for NIP. The orbs weren't effective. They haven't got that superstar Orpa. Forest and Pit can be effective with it, but they're not hitting shots. They can't really recover from poor performances. And Pit, especially, he's on 5 for 11. Never really got rolling. And Henny, he's having an absolute lights out performance here. It goes without saying, Matt, NIP need this pistol to have a chance here. And considering their current form, it's a must win situation. Five sets of armor. Still looking jovial, though. We know NIP can come back from this. We've seen worse. Proly comes to mind against Liquid. Absolutely. That one, uh, yeah, that one's going to come to mind for a long time for a lot of North American fans. The Major as well. Phelps, Henny, both oh, pushing right. through. Pistol round six success so far for Immortals. This bolts down to 19 HP on that exchange, but the two-man advantage. The bomb gets planted on this because they go for that heavy presence over on the B side, expecting potentially the rush. So if they can get the line of defenses set correctly, nice little gap for Get Right to try and shoot through, but that does leave him exposed to the top of the stairwell, and that's exactly where Henny goes toward. What a shot from Phelps. Smoke out. And they'll get immediately on this, surely, with five players still up. Good shot from Forrest. A second. He takes down Bolts, but it's just him remaining. A one versus three, and they are on the defuse. Lucas is holding this down while they pace and will get the kill on the Forest. And they know exactly what this means. Very aggressive play there from Immortals, getting an underpass area, finding the first two frags. It funnels NIP into the A side. They get the plan down. Now they have a decision to make. Do they force by into this round? I think you can see Immortal preparing for this. No SMGs purchased so far. They're going for the rifles. Four of them to be exact. Just Henny on the MP7. The force by comes in. NIP know they need a miracle right now. Some NIP magic needs to come out right here, right now. AK-47 on Get Right. The rest of the players on Tech 9s, they have got smoke to play with. I'd assume it's some sort of A split or an AX execute coming in here, but relentless. Henny's going up towards the top middle to find the first frag. Decent flashbangs coming in as well. He's going all in with this MP7. I'm not sure about this decision, but there it is. Freiburg finds him. And we've got something to work with here. Five and four. An SMG to complement the AK-47 exists. He's spotted up at least one toward the B apartments. That's a ruse, though. That's Lucas trying to bait in for showtime. Thankfully, Exist doesn't buy it. He checks the underpass instead. Bomb's gonna stack over toward the A site, and with Get Right finding that kill on Phelps, that might be the access they need. Bolt's just gonna go passive to stay efficient, try and stay alive to allow a rotation. But NIP doesn't quite have enough information to base it on that alone to run toward the bomb site. Keep in mind, they do still have a smoke for Exist. But he's just getting to A now. He's just getting in position now. And I likely expect his will go toward the CT side but they can go for the clean plant. Lucas, though, inside jungle is going to catch off Freiburg in transition. The smoke does land from Exist at CT, but they have to take down Lucas first, and Get Right's going to be the one to do it. Looks the wrong way, though, and Bolts comes back around the corner, keeps this dead even, and the ball plant's going to come in a little bit late from Forrest as he's got 12 HP to do it. They'll know exactly where he is. Bolts, he finds the player at Sandwich. This is a problem. He has to win this duel. Bolts goes low on HP, but NIP, they're so low as well. They needed to get that kill secured because now Showtime can push, but Forrest is holding it, and it's a Tech 9. Has he realized that he's won that far? Oh, he certainly has! Once again, Forrest is the hero for an IP. The force by it looked difficult towards the end there, but two versus one, he steps up once more with the Tech 9. It was that initial push from Immortals with the MP7 that let them down. And interesting enough, it looks like they'll be forcing into this round. I'm not sure this is the right call, but we'll see what they can do here. Scouts on Showtime, bolts with the PD50 in armor. And the crowd are coming to life now, they're starting to believe. Well, they are the seventh man. They're going to have to be loud. Forrest and Exist already advancing into the underpass to make sure there's no off-chance pistol push now that they are back on the eco. Get Right's made it in toward ladder. We know he's very good at getting map control and opening... Well, that doesn't help. Opening up the map from this position, but Lucas heard him get there, so they'll at least know he's there, and Henny spots him, or rather hears him jumping into that small vent window. He's going to take him down with the pistol, so first blood does go the way of Immortals in round 18. Five and four. NIP do have a huge advantage still. They have three rifles and Freiburg on the MP7 as well against unarmed players. That's 
a tantalizing prospect. Exist gets the first kill towards the CT zone. Take down Henny towards that window area. He's just patrolling top of middle right now. And Happy don't need to go all in just yet. They're sticking together towards the lower ramp. Forrest to go in first. It's a nice little rifle set up here. Just one player on the A side. That's Bolt's PD50 in hand. This should be a very easy situation for the NIP to hold off. Bolt's looking for the headshot. Okay. He's found it, Forrest. He gets taken. That nade, it's going to do damage to both. His attacker end is oppressed because he hurts Phelps with it as well, but it's existing sign of connector that takes out Lucas. That makes this all too doable as Pit just has to worry about Phelps. They knew where he was, and now it's five for NIP. Oh, these rounds are very tense, but NIP converts two in a row, finally. That's actually the first time in this game they've done that. Which That's is, shocking. Yeah. But uh, here we go then. Finally a full eco for Immortals, so surely three for NIP now. They're going to have Four rifles and get right to be the reconnaissance player. Basically, what that means he can take a lower SMG, run, go into the situations first, and if he does drop that weapon, it's not a huge deal against armor players. Mac 10 is a huge effective, but it's going to be the CTs pushing off short. They get the first kill as well. A PG 50 works out, and it's going to be Fryberg holding them off, oh. spraying through the smoke as this joins in as well. So they should be able to recover from this initial deficit. That basically traced a silhouette around showtime, but they knew he was there. Fryberg has patience, he found Pip. It's on to Henny, <laughs> undetected, misses every shot on Forrest, so he'll take advantage of it. 16, or rather, excuse me, 13 to 6 now as NIP crawls that much closer. Three rounds on the bounce, but it does bring money back to the hands of it. Immortals right now, and that does mean the AWP coming out for Henny. It's going to be Glass Cannon, though. This is how desperate but reliant they are on Henny, and they have full confidence for him to find the opening pick. Oh, absolutely. He's one of those players who can go absolutely wild. Uh, he hasn't used Glass Cannon, though, so susceptible to grenades and Molotov. Let's see what he decides to do here. Jumps out the window, puts himself down a smoke for the connector, and actually going to be looking towards the underpass straight away. There's a chance to get that first shot. Misses it, though. Doesn't want to be falling back just yet. This is a bold move. He gets shot for the smoke. I'm not sure why he wouldn't fall back there. Of course, unarmored as well. Needs to get out of that. Takes down Penny. It's Freiburg to open things up. And now they have a real chance to go in towards A here. Forrest, contact play here, quite simple. Looking for the next shot. It's going to be bold time. What a tap it was. Lovely stuff there from Forrest. Sight completely open. Lucas may get one kill on Freiburg. They know that's from Catwalk, though, and Pip's going to stay to watch this. All Exist has to do is hold off at jungle at this point. And it's exactly that from Pip. His task finished. Phelps going to try and catch him off guard. And Pip, he's got a chance to not only catch Phelps, but get on top of Showtime as well and prevent this save because it's right back to no guns for Immortals and NIP. Start believing. Oh, yes. Well, they came back 13-8 against Astralis. Now it's going to be 13-7. Definitely have the potential to do this. This probably will break the economy of the CTs once again. Only going to get $2,900. It's going to be Phelps now saving his weapon. He's actually currently hiding in the window room. What a Dangerous situation for him. Looking to get that AWP. Don't do fire. Yeah, don't fire your weapon there. Get the orb and get the hell out. Don't give away your position. It's not worth it. Does just that. Saves the orb as well. So, problem is for an IP. They're probably not going to be aware this orb's been saved. And it's up to Henny now. Surely going to drop it over to him. Maybe and Phelps is feeling it. Who knows? I'm trying to take a peek at the spawns really quickly. Phelps is no further forward than Henny. Oh no, Henny does have the, the poor spawn. So, Phelps is going to try and get to window with it at mid shortly. Uh, be apartments, maybe. Oh, yep, you're right. I guess the idea is if you get that first pick and follow him to his teammates on A, that could be very impressive. Actually, going to get up there a little bit faster as well with a boost from his teammate. I want to make a Ooh, play. Okay, come on. That was the Calm chance. Down. Watch going back toward that smoke. Just to be sure that they don't accidentally make that cross. Get right still back in that position. Could have been under threat. Phelps is going to push up catwalk right now. Default smoke from NIP to allow them around the corner. Second one once they arrive there toward the window. We're seeing that more and more, less the window smoke from spawn that used to be thrown about eight months ago. It's more the catwalk, get position, then smoke window and force them back. It's Phelps. Catches off Freiburg. That AWP does at least pay off a little bit into this round. We'll see if they can go further with it. They need to keep these rifles away from the CTs if they go down. They need to stick together so that they can protect them in IP. And it's going to be on the A site that they elect to go. Watch Phelps. He's rotated toward the jungle position, so if no smoke, which is now deployed, is to cover him off, he's got a chance, and there was a gap that didn't oh. quite make it. It was on top, they've dropped the bomb. Thankfully, they find Henny in behind the firebox, because he could have prevented it, and Forrest, he'll take the AWP away, finally, because it's gotten three kills and made this dead close for Immortals. Still no bomb plant out of this, and look at Showtime. His timing is everything. He's gonna get spotted up, though. Forrest just checks it on the whim, on the timing, and he's able to close this just to bolts.
There the plant in. Well done from Forrest. Oh, how many times do you have to rescue them here? It's Phelps of the AWP. We question him using it, but what a performance that was. Three kills made things very tight indeed. We go into round number 22. It's 13-8. And Forrest isn't going down without a fight, it seems. Keeps them alive in the four on two. It's going to be the double orb setup this time. The first time we've seen it from Immortals on Mirage. Two more will do it just to bring this a series points. Watch Bolts. Me and Phelps are looking to set up a bait and switch play at the A ramp where Phelps baits them to war, but he's a little bit late getting there. And Getright's going to spray both, not just one on 6 HP. He finds Phelps following in the footsteps. And now it's another two man advantage. Double op is still in play. And he's going to rotate back over towards CT stairs. And it's showtime that'll watch B from Checkers, but Forrest doesn't really care where the AWPs are. He just cares that he gets the kills. They haven't even gone back for the bomb. They're just gonna hunt them down. They're out for blood right now. And showtime is gonna find one in return. That'll make them reconsider. Freiburg will go back and actually, despite getting the one kill onto Forrest, they are still able to close this out, but an off drop in. And IP's not gonna make it to that. That'll damage the economy a little bit, but they've got it built up significantly enough to at least have two rounds in hand. Six rounds in a row for an IP. What looked like a disastrous game after losing the pistol in the second half. And he fight back with that force buy in the second. And it's been pretty smooth sailing since then. Forrest keeping them alive and get right finally finding some form here on that lower ramp. What a play it was from him. Gets a double spray down, opens up that A site, and then Forrest coming in from the palace area as well. Things looking uncomfortable for Mortals now. They're going to have to take another eco hit. Do not force buy this situation. They've got about an average of $3,500. If they force forward, it'd be Famuses and shotguns and stuff. They don't need to do that. This is the chance just to slow things down and work out how they're going to approach these situations. They're giving too much away at the start. The fact that Get right can just walk up the air round and find two kills, they just need to hold back and allow NIP to make the next move at this point. We'll see what they decide to do going forward. You assume this will be just a partial buy. PG-50, 5-7s, they can be very deadly with these weapons. NIP is a chance for them just to take stock as well. They're going to be sticking with five AKs, it seems. Forrest not going to be on the orb this time. They have got a full array of utility, obviously, after so many rounds in a row. The money overall, they've got a couple in hand. It's just Pitt, who's uh, a little bit lower than everyone else, but exists one $8,000 and get right on 7.5. So they're absolutely fine in terms of money. I can feel it coming, Matt. The comeback is on. I'm saying nothing. My superstitions demand that I stay quiet on this regard. How many times do they do this in big games, time and time again? We thought in the semi-final, surely not going to happen once more, but 13-8, they managed to come back. It's now 13-9, one better. A pause. It's cancelled. We're going into this one, and it's going to be the partial buy from Immortals here. 13-9, and suddenly we do see some signs of hope for an IP. Certainly took a while for them to wake back up. Again, a long series against Astralis with a late comeback on Cobblestone to put them here. Is it too little, too late? Gap in that smoke. Phelps going to try and take advantage of this with the 5-7. Get right's going to approach onto him. But in middle right now, it's Freiburg to force them back with a flash out. And Phelps, he's made his way in toward this A ramp. Get right's waiting again, but Phelps got a shot. The shoulder peak and Get right won't come up lucky twice. He'll get away with the AK-47 as well. 19 HP and he has armor, so aim punch definitely not a factor. Mind you at 19. Any bullets good enough to do enough to take him down. Indeed. I wouldn't be surprised. He's the only one with armor, but even still, I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped that AK off to someone. Well, then, it's up to NIP now to work out how they're going to get into the bombs. They obviously have a couple of smokes, flashbangs, HE as well, to stick together and utilize the rifles they have, the superior firepower. In terms of their A approach, it's just going to be bolts waiting for them. Unless he goes absolutely wild here, they should be perfectly fine as they make their way towards the A site. One player in towards Palace, that'll be Forrest as usual. And bolts can sense something coming. Phelps has gone long angle with this AK to try and find the headshot instead. Bolts, he has to get up on top of this brick underneath the balcony. That limits his movement, but it still enables him to get the first shot. At least one into Pith. Freiburg is able to turn back around fast enough, but look at the HP. It's in the favor right now of Immortals. And Hanny, he's picked up the AK, having Phelps go down. So he's 100 HP, but again, no armor for him, so they can tap away on him. Bomb planted, Freiburg slipped into the forest, or excuse me, into the firebox, but Forrest, he gets tagged up through the wall, down to 16. And it's the AK from Henny that's doing the work now. A good shot, good return. One more to find, he gets it towards CT, and Showtime's gonna show himself, he won't get Forrest back, but they're gonna pinch onto him. And the peak from Freiburg, another for NIP. Forrest with three more kills there. 22 and 17, having a great game here, considering the circumstance.
13-10, round by round, NIP just grinding this one out. It was uncomfortable to start with, and Bolts did what he could, sprayed his Deagle from Shadow, only managed to find one. And some back and forth exchange, low HP on NIP players, but Forrest has stepped up once again. The double orb setup comes out, Henny and Showtime looking to get that opening frag, and just give them that opening favor, but Spyro back towards middle once again, fires off some shots towards window. It's a default play for sure. Bomb still down towards A ramp, nothing real special coming into the CT so far. Been a while since we've heard them. The chance for an IP, they are definitely in this game now, all things rolling. After an eco win in round two. It's been seven in a row. And money is strong on all but Pip, but they'll be able to drop him out. So they've got a couple rounds to work with even still, but they'll try and continue this on. Watch Phelps inside of that sandwich position. Good Molotov, that forces him out. They just have to hold the angle, and Gatwright's gonna do exactly that. Pip's also found Showtime. This opens up a man advantage for them. And they smoked off Henny. He can't find the shot from CT. Bomb's gonna go over and get planted in the default position. And they can hold this from A main, however, They've all elected to go beyond that. Forrest will back himself away here. They've just got every angle covered at this point. They have residual flashbangs as well. The CT need to work out whether they go for this one. I don't think it's worth it. Save the AWP, keep this uh, money at least at a strong level. They are maximum loss bonus, obviously. Save three rifles, and there's going to be another round going in favor of the ninjas. Four AK saved as well, so they really are making a convincing case here. I think they can justify going on a little bit of a hunt here as well. It's going to be Henny to take down Get Right. And he's already done his mission, going towards that lower ramp area once again, finds a kill on towards the bomb side. Phelps and Showtime drop. It was actually Henny that got the opening kill on this round as well. They just can't hold on to the advantages and exist. Through the vents, finds one. Henny shows his position towards that kitchen area, but slowly but surely lowering the deficit here. 13 11. And then he managed to save one rifle in the end. So, how do we go into this next round? Um, was, I mean, it was worth the hunt down. I'm surprised Exis actually was able to find bolts on that brick when he walked through the vents. That's a hard kill to get, but two rounds separate us. It's all AK-47s again for NIP. Double up setup comes out. It's Phelps and Henny this time, not Showtime. And Phelps with another quick spawn is going to go immediately onto the catwalk. Henny's going to play it in connector, so double up presence toward middle. But they can try and set up a crossfire with, and if there's a lack of smokes, if there's any gaps at all, this is actually extremely punishing for teams that want mid control, and we know Nip has been attempting to attain that time and time again. They're doing it again now with Freiburg and Pitt. So, so far, CT's only managed to get one round, and that's the pistol on the second half here. It was a 12-3 scoreline after 15 rounds. Double orb set up once again. It was so effective for them on the T side, but hasn't really got rolling here at all on the kind of terrorist side. Phelps, he's on the orb this time. Looking towards ladder room and middle, but unfortunately for him, it's Pitt, he's got in there behind him as well, they're right next to each other. And look at Exist, he's on the other side, so Pitt may have ladder, but Exist has come through jungle, that's gonna close off. Oh, but the vent, Bolt gets back through it, I was gonna say close off middle entirely, and he's found Get Right, they've managed to turn this back in Showtime, he does win the duel. It is just down to Forrest and Freiburg. And Freiburg's gonna get above ticket boot, that does take down the AWP player. Oh, Forrest, the play. what a shot from Freiburg! He's opened up all the room for them to find a post plant, and it is planted for the CT stairs where Freiburg will reside with Bolts and Lucas. It's not exactly the buddy system, but coming from the same angle, Lucas is gonna try to get ever closer, inch this back up as he does have the kit. And it's Bolts with the AK top of the stairs, facing it out, what a shot, Driver crown immediately. They know Forrest is on the side, he needs to play this long. He needs to hold the angle, but he can't do it, Bolts gets it. And they've got time with the kit. So finally, Immortals, excuse me, will get around. Eight in a row for NIP, but this does create, there's still hope for the NIP fans because this does create potential for a reset. Oh, absolutely. It was a four on two there, and Freiburg showing he's rolling back the years and getting those great kills to actually give them an opportunity to win the round, but it wasn't quite enough there. It would have been absolutely amazing if they could have pulled that one off, but it's 14-11 now. One round, and Immortals will get the series point. They have the single orb on Henny this time, but as you said, if NIP can win this one, it's definitely going to be a full reset and gives them the opportunity to potentially Puts Immortals to the double eco situation. That could tie things up. As we go into round number 26, it's going to go the distance here. From a map that looked like NIP were completely shut out of. Making things very interesting here. The second map of the grand final. Ryberg spraying as he was flashed up, hoping to catch anyone pushing through, but watch Pitt's position. This is desperate. Just spots him, and Bolts goes down. A game of cat and mouse, good response from Phelps. Very fast as well through the smoke. 
Lucas has ladder as well. We know they've gone for that multiple times. Get right's not in the position to do so in this round, though, but good shot from Forrest. Gives them the man advantage and a miss from Henny. It's going to allow them in. Forrest now has the angle held, so good flash because now Henny can force Forrest back, retake the peak, and control the situation with the AWP. But the smoke elongates the angle, and Forrest is going to try and get nifty and clever toward the jungle position instead. Henny, desperate shot in, flash out. So it's a game of just trying to get positional advantage. It does allow get right in for the plant, and that's, that's the big safe. part of this. Considering the reset potential we discussed earlier, they're going to have to save at this point. It's another four on two, and this time NIP take it. Pit gets that opening frag. That begins the onslaught, and then Forrest is finally pick after pick, it seems. Takes that kill on towards the A side, and then Immortals just fall apart. It's going to be two players remaining. It's going to be Henny alone now, I was about to say, with Showtime, but they're aware of the position as well. They may be able to get this kill. It's just the AWP. He hits it. Close range. Takes out of this. This orb is everything right now. If he can take the next round, it's still a chance. Jumps. And they know exactly where he is. 41 HP, just trying to negate any terrorist coming beside him, but he's hitting everything. But he's seeing Forrest coming from T-Spawn and get right waiting for him on the D-side. And it seems silly to commit this player, many players to him, but they know with the reset how important that one gun is and the lack thereof it. If they could have taken it from Henny, he manages to survive, but NIP's got plenty of money, plenty of cash left over that they can bring into this round, and they've got Forrest still on the AWP. Whereas Henny, well, it's him alone. It's him against the world right now. I'm surprised, actually, so they're trying to keep the level balance in their economy for the next buy, because he actually could have dropped out one gun, but one gun around this AWP alone, they don't feel is worth the justification of the cash, and therefore, they'll play this at 14-13 with a better Same buy still. Way. This is Henny trying to pick towards underpass once again, but NIP are aware of this one. He will be surviving. For now, Flashman's coming over. He does have a chance to get out of there as well. So I think that's the right play here. He's the one making something happen at this point. He needs to find a first kill, maybe take down Forrest. He's normally playing towards that palace area, but he's very defensive indeed and waiting for anyone to push towards that area. And Freiburg and Pith again are going to be the ones to work together at mid. Keep an eye on Henny, down to 50 HP already, but it's an AWP. It's one shot. He's backed off of mid-connector, and that's actually going to let Exist now coming out from underpass work in tandem with his teammates to take that over. Watch the push from Phelps. Oh, this is so good. Oh, down bomb as well. Exactly that, and the AWP, if he can find the shot on Get Right, it would be a huge problem, and Get Right just barely gets away with it on 5 HP. They'll go back for the bomb. Oh, that's a good recovery from Get Right. Had that second kill come in, that could have been round over right there, but Get Right managed to get out and recover the bomb. Very tense in that point, but they still have time to play with it. Problem is they have no grenades. With the AWP on Henny, there's no smokes available. He could actually have control of this situation if they move on to, move on to the A bomb. So he's actually there as well, watching window for now. And Pitts, he's in the underpass. So as soon as Boltz gives the call, Henny will move his attention towards that A side. Here we go. Get right will go in first. He's low enough on HP that if he can hit the shot, that's great. If he doesn't, well... You don't lose a high HP player, and you get the information, so he'll be the first to jump across. It's Friber with the distraction of Bolt to the aim punch, a factor that takes him down. Henny, oh, couldn't hit the flick shot in the up post. Not a successful either. It's going to be Pitt to close it. Get right on, Lucas. This is going to be a one-point game. 12-3 at half, and NIP, they pulled it all the way to 13 rounds. One more to the tie. Cash is good, though. Not amazing, but good enough to force out something right now on the immortal side. Yep, absolutely. They have enough to work with. They could allow it to go to 14-14 and leave things in. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, it's uh, a ball play, but we are going to be tying things up. It's going to go right down to the wire. Looking at the buy, they've got Deagles, 5.7s, PD50s, and four smokes. So maybe they're going to try and run a default and hold us here as long as possible. That certainly helps towards the apartments as Henny gets the first kill, takes down Forrest, and he upgrades to an AK-47 as well. Their percentage chance of winning this round is just increased significantly. Good forward stance as well by Phelps again on the front of A, but it's Get Right and Exist working together over toward the apartments at B. Exist with Bomb just gives a quick check to underpass, make sure a quick flank isn't a possibility Excuse me for Immortals inside of the site with Lucas and Showtime. Get Right and Pith going to walk through this smoke as soon as it fades, and the boost up from Showtime, this could be easily overlooked if Lucas can distract long enough, so he just needs to lure them in. And even if he does it long enough, if Showtime has trigger discipline, you've seen people deny bomb plants from this position. A minute to work with, though. Lots of time to recover. Still five players up. They're going to rotate now. Bolts has made it. Henny's not quite there to check her just yet, but they've got the information. Good kill from Pit. They'll watch the window, but Showtime and Bolts, there it is. The boost. It gets 
pushes them off and pulls Seth Kev right. It's all turned around. It's all on the Freiburg. He manages one. Bombs inside of the site. Has to commit 43 seconds. But they know exactly where he is. And even if he slows this down, it's a tall order as they picked up an AK onto Phelps who has head armor to work with. 30 seconds for Freiburg. Such a tall order. Three on one. Needs to find something first before he drops down. I'll know exactly where he is. As soon as he goes down, he makes a noise. And that's it. It's up. There it is. And they'll double face it. Surely they've got two on this side. One at the door, one at the window. And bolts immediately up close. They'll find that 15th round, Immortals. They've at least got overtime secured. And they've got weapons to go against NIP now. A bet of two rounds to play as well. Who would have thought their third round of the half would be found with that save round? Just PD50s and a Deagle. It's the initial play towards the Palace area that takes down Forrest and then funneling towards that B side. You spotted it. The boost on the bomb site is the one that really gets him into position there. Showtime taking down the planter and then it's a three on one. Freiburg can't do anything about it. The double orb setups back out for the CTs. They're looking strong right now. One round will do it and crown them. DreamHack open champions here. NIP trying to hold on for dear life to take things to overtime. A default smoke this time. Get right trying to check the angle all the way to the right. Make sure. He knows Phelps has been there, that he's not going to be in this round. Resmoked. And he, in turn, is going to watch the wise side of the smoke to see if Get Right pushes through. He's going to the flash out. He nails it. Phelps reads it like a book. And Forrest can't find the off angle. Phelps steps up. He's going to find Forrest as well. What a play. That's huge for Immortals right now as they get three kills away from the DreamHack Open Summer Championship. Bolts in the window. Exists going to stare him down. And that's a headshot again to the Brazilians. Pith tries to go that's through. Bolts holds that. It's on Freiburg, one versus five, and Immortals, my god, they made it close, but have they held on just enough? Freiburg gets caught out, Penny with the final kill, and Brazil, a fight through this tournament, are going to be your summer champions in 2016. And how to break the hearts of the Swedish crowd, they take down Godsent in the semi, and they let Nip get so close, but yet a million miles away. We've talked about that slump for a couple of months now, but what a performance in the grand final. They came into this tournament reasonably weak. We didn't expect much of this one. We thought this was a mismatch final. And NIP, they never really arrived. It wasn't until the second half there of the second map. They really looked strong, but it was too little too late. That eco round from Immortals guarantees them the win here. 2-0, being NIP and clean sets there. And you have to say, Matt, although it's unfortunate in Sweden, NIP haven't come out on top. You've got to love the romantic storyline of the Brazilians coming out here. And they've done a lot of good work in international soil. The Major definitely upset them a lot, but this is a big win. This gets that monkey immediately off the back and they can get back to focusing. A trophy well earned for the Brazilians. Obviously a little bit quieter, some somber moves for the Nip fans, but again, Brazil, a great fight through this tournament, and everyone showed up in style in the final team effort all the way through, and Zach said it, when they're into the game, they are on fire, they were all the way into this game, you can see it in the emotion every single round. It means so much to these guys, they said it before, they spent a lot of time from home, they live in North America, away from the family, has been grinding out poor results recently. This means absolutely everything to them. It's a, a milestone in their careers, bouncing back and showing they still have the mental fortitude to come out of these slums and take down one of the world's best sides. And interesting, again, they mentioned that they have trouble closing out games. That was a very, very close one, but let's hear from them themselves. Mix is ready with our champions. Zach, you mentioned in an interview that you did with DreamHack that by the end of 2016, the Immortals will be a top five team. Today in the Grand Finals, you just defeated the ranked number three team in the world, the Ninjas in Pajamas on Swedish soil. It must mean that much more to you guys. Uh, you know what to expect of you guys, you know? We have to break, we have to chew a little with our families. Then we're gonna come back stronger. NIP was a great team, we are very happy. We were not expecting this, not for sure. But look at his faces. This doesn't, doesn't need a translation. Just explain this to us so that we can understand. In just a matter of three days, Immortals went from having that heartbreaking loss of failing to make it to the major, a rough day one here at DreamX Summer, and now you guys are champions over NIP. I mean, what the heck happened here? 
I don't know, heart. Just that, heart. I don't have an explanation, really. Now, Zach, last but not least, there are so many fans that you guys have just gained from this performance here at DreamX Summer, as well as fans that have been cheering for you throughout your journey. What do you have to say to all of them? Thank you for the fans all over the world, Brazil, United States, Sweden, everybody. Uh, it means a lot for us. It's very hard to come from Brazil to a place like this and be a uh, top team like that. Uh, you don't have an idea. So thank you, everybody, and thank you, Immortals, too. Well, congratulations again, Zach, and congratulations to the Immortals as they are the 2016 DreamHack Summer Champions! That's got to mean an awful lot. Great stuff over from Zach.